here with uh, the infamous Jinx. What's up, y'all? Imperial Sir Jinx, straight West Coast. You know, give a shout out to Dub CNN. You know, we're gonna get it in. Always. So, what's been up with you, Jinx? Man, just loving life, learning, learning, learning my craft a little better. You know, sometimes I tell a lot of the producers that I work with, sometimes you got to take a little time off to kind of sharpen your own tools. You know, sometimes get a little dug, get a little relaxed. So I've been chilling, just learning my craft a little more. Okay. So what you got going on right now? I'm chilling. I'm, I'm just chilling. You know, like like I was saying the other day, it, it's it's a weird parade going past right now you know and i can jump in it and try to make music for every everybody you know what i'm saying but i used to just make music for myself and the way the music is going right now is too many people doing the same thing you know i come from that diverse world where you can be yourself and do that so i'm just waiting on the parade to pass you know kind of weird so what's going on up here today What's going on? Why can we go to this uh, this day party, man? Man, you know, honcho, you know what I'm saying? Bringing the people out. You know, nocturnal. Uh, uh, BG Knockout. My nigga BG Knockout. Yeah, we're going to try to get it in. Have a good time. Okay, tell us a little something about that straight out of Compton, though. What you, uh, like, have something to do with that or what? You know, just, just fill me in. Fill me in real quick. Well, straight out of Compton was just, you know, like a home movie to me. You know, we kind of funny to see yourself on a big screen. And uh, one of the funny things that uh, people was asking me is, like, how, how does it feel to have a person acting like you? And I said, he was the only one that got paid. <laughs> That, he just got paid to do it, so it was a dope movie, man. A good, a good thing going on for the West Coast. Uh, you got to see the real history of how things happen, and a lot of these young rappers need to see how hard it was back in the day, where it's not like that so much. Or there's a lot of rappers that get into so much trouble and need to look at it and see that you know you could be a target, you know. So back then, you know, it, it was the beginning of us traveling and. and you know, shout out to Easy E, rest in peace, Easy E. Without Easy E, it wouldn't have happened. You know, and without Dr. Dre, of course. And, you know, Ice Cube, DOC, MC Grant, you know, uh, 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 Laylaw, you know, he Laylaw, Laylaw had a part in it. I, had, I played my little part in it, you know, Arabian Prince, played his part in it. And uh, it was a big family back in the day. So, uh, so they, you broke, you broke Ice Cube, though, right? Excuse me. You had something to do with Cube Spirit? What, what? Say it again. Ice Cube. But say the question, I know. <laughs> Did you have something to do with breaking his career? Well, we, we had, I had something to do with helping. He helped me, we helped each other. We all came in together. So I can't say that I, I'm the person that made him. He made himself. Right. He, he knew what to do and uh, how to get where he was going, you know. All right. Well, let him know where to find you. You know what I'm saying? And what you looking for? And so Jinx, you can find me out doing my thing. You can hit me on my uh, Instagram if you want, uh, DJ Sir Jinx. You know, I'm always open to uh, talk to new rappers and new entertainers and singers and stuff like that. You know, kind of brush up on what I need to know and also what other people need to know. So, you know, always hit me up. You know, hit me in my DM, ask me some questions. And I always find, always. All right. With your music, but sometimes you need to know what the enemy is yeah. doing, you know, to become sharper after that. A lot of the songs back in the day can't be reproduced, you know, because they were just made so unorthodox, you know. But uh, that's what I've been doing, just learning. And like I said, I, I listen to new music, and it's so simplistic to me to where, like, back in the day, like listening to Lionel Richie or listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire, I thought that was difficult. But it's actually really I mean, when you know the progression, you know what it means. Yeah, it makes music more fun to do to me. Sometimes I work 
on music and it'll come to online. You know what I mean? Like, it'll be like, hey, you know, Michael, go, yeah, where we gonna go from here? So we scrap the whole track and, and do it again. Wow. It was so many of uh, nice new songs that we did that we ended up changing the track because it didn't progress to, to where we wanted. You know, but it was it's done already. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, God, God, I was in the swap team, and they had a picture of me in the swap team. I was like, oh. Damn. <laughs> it was that picture of me and Cube and Yo-Yo. Wow. 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 And I'm like, I made it to the swap team, nigga.